this line goes another about a, another block and a half. I don't know how these people are gonna get in. Last year, apparently, they closed down the place because there were too many people. I came to Comic Con because I like the anime and I love the manga. Get your Viz Media bling on. Get your free Viz Media beads. It's great to come out here and actually talk to the people who are following uh, the manga and um, talk to them directly about it and talk to other in, in the industry who are interested in what we're doing. It's really a, a great chance to talk to people face to face. Oh, yeah. oh, thank you. I'm 56 years old and I started getting into this about 10 years ago. I started buying the uh, manga and then I started buying the videotapes and now of course I'm collecting DVDs and it's gotten to the point where I had to create a whole set of shelves to hold everything. Much like you see in the books, they show the kids' bedroom with lineup of all the manga. That's me. <laughs> so we wanted to come to Comic-Con to put our ninja toys in the hands of boys and in the hands of fans so that they can see what it's like to be a real ninja. You've obviously been in ninja school. <laughs> so tonight we have a game. It's called the Naruto Ninja Academy. You get to throw ninja stars at a target and achieve your ninja headband, which means you are a Ninja Academy graduate. So all the toys here, your weapons, your figures, are all geared towards the helping you become the ultimate ninja. I don't see any beads. You guys see any beads? Oh! Prize Patrol, can we give you guys a prize for wearing the beads for Absolutely. Biz? Absolutely. Look at this. What do you think? Sweet. You like it? Yes. You win a prize because you wore the Viz beads. Yeah, another prize winner. Hey. Oh, you look like a Pokemon fan. Oh. I'm a Naruto fan. Always use these bags for good. Never use them for evil. You're going to be famous now. This is your big chance. There you go. So what do you like about Naruto? Well, ninjas. I like the ninja stuff, really. The series really appeals to fans. I mean, I've been to a lot of the conventions, and there are just there's a huge fan base out there. I get emails from people of all ages, really, and it's great. They they send me great notes and emails, and they. They tell me what they like about Naruto, and, and uh, it, that's just thrilling. I guess I guess fandom has changed, or maybe it's just uh, more of uh, how it is in, in anime. And admittedly, a lot of you know fans are fans are different. Some fans are very timid. Some fans are very outgoing. Either way, it's hard for me not to love the fans because I am one. Nephew Xavier watches Naruto every Saturday. Yeah? Yeah. Well, do you want us to do one to Xavier Do you Xavier want us to write well? one to Xavier? Yeah. What's your name? Victor. Victor, V-I-C-T-O-R? Yeah. The amazing thing about the Naruto fans is that they're the most genuine, kind, uh, considerate, respectful people. You know, I mean, yeah, there'll be Yuri up there on stage and they're all screaming and everything else. But when they just come up to you and talk to you, they're so interested to talk about the characters and about where the series is going. And there's just something that, it's just this love for these characters that I share with them. And I, I find that we end up talking about things <laughs> for a long time because I'm as big of a fan of the show as they are. I would say with the fans, um, their enthusiasm is kind of what drives us. And I think with what they're doing, I mean, with, with the way they love the show, it kind of pushes us to kind of do do our best and kind of give 110% because really without the fans, there's no Naruto. <laughs> Naruto, Naruto, Naruto. Uh, we obviously can't say enough about Naruto. Um, the w movie, as I mentioned earlier, uh, is, is coming uh, a full-length feature film. This is going to be a premiere uh, in the United States for a, any Naruto movie. We're thrilled about it. Um, this movie, of course, it's about a secret mission. It's a special mission. Team 7 is protecting a famous actress. She actually has a history, it's a secret history, which becomes clear through the movie, and I will not tell you what that is. Don't be concerned, our heroes uh, do a good job protecting, and I, I won't tell you how 
uh, the story ends. This is our, our first U.S. release um, of any Naruto movie, and hopefully it will be the first of many. Uh, so we're excited about that. So we're really excited to bring um, Naruto the movie to your local theater. Um, we have a couple versions of the trailers um, that we're keeping kind of a close eye on. So with that, um, the trailer. Minna-sama! Naruto Crash of Ninja in the Land of the Snow, eh? Honto Tanushiminishimasta, yone! Yosh! Say! No! Hikimasho! Only the most cunning ninja of the Hidden Leaf Village are allowed to carry out missions. But when Squad 7 is given the simple task of escorting the famous actress, Yukie Fujikaze, they quickly learn that when Naruto is involved, nothing is ever simple. Their journey takes them from the Hidden Leaf Village to the Land of Snow, a country in a perpetual state of winter, where things are not as calm and peaceful as they seem. <gasps> Yukie is not who we think she is. As their mission proves more challenging... <laughs> this isn't a game! You think I don't know this crystal's a fake?! Naruto and his squad soon discover the dark, harsh truth behind this mysterious country. And the secret behind the mystical Hex Crystal. <laughs> Ready as one of anime's biggest hits makes the leap to the big screen.